Hey everyone, today I'll be making a Majestic Island Coconut Melt and Pour Soap with Soothing Colloidal Oatmeal. Let's get right to it. I'm using this two pound coconut milk soap base. I'm going to cut this block into small cubes in preparation for melting. I'm also going to be using a half pound of a clear soap base. I'm placing the cubed coconut milk soap into a glass measuring cup, then melting in the microwave for about one minute. This is what it looks like after one minute. It was at this time I remembered that I needed to melt my clear base first for the design I was going to make, so I set this to the side and grabbed the clear base. Like before, I cut it into cubes, placed it in a glass measuring cup, and put it in the microwave, this time for 30 seconds initially. This is what it looks like after 30 seconds. Then I placed it back into the microwave for 25 seconds to get it fully melted. Now I'm adding some blue mica into the soap base. This color is appropriately named in the tropics. I added the mica straight into the soap base and mixed thoroughly to break up any clumps of mica that may have formed. Another way to add mica into a soap base is to mix it with isopropyl alcohol first, then add the alcohol mica mixture to the base. This will prevent clumping. And this is what the base is looking like. It has a lovely shimmer to it from the mica and I really like this color. Here I'm adding the fragrance which is Island Coconut Fragrance and this is a combination of top notes of coconut and pineapple, heart notes of gardenia and jasmine along with a base of musk and vanilla. I'll give it one final mix and it is ready to be poured into the mold. I'm using this arabesque tree mold that will give the top of the soap an interesting design without any effort on my part. Now I'll just pour the base in, then I'll spritz the top with some isopropyl alcohol to burst the bubbles and I'll leave this undisturbed to start to set for about 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, I'm ready to work with the white base. I placed the cup with the half melted soap base back in the microwave for 35 seconds to melt the rest of the soap. To this base, I'm adding some colloidal oatmeal. Colloidal oats provide moisturizing properties by creating a barrier against the skin. The hydrated granules of oatmeal adhere to the surface of the skin and provide a protective film attracting humidity and reducing friction. Now, the oats definitely clumped up when added to the base. I took my time to mix this in and break the clumps up. Still at the end, there were some clumps that were left over though you couldn't really see it in the final soap. Like the mica, adding a bit of alcohol to the oats before adding it to the base will help to alleviate the clumping. Now I didn't have enough of the island coconut fragrance for this amount of soap, so I paired it with a second fragrance called Majestic Isle. This fragrance has top notes of fresh shore breeze, and I have no idea how you get that fragrance, um, coconut, berry, and tropical pineapple, blended with calming floral notes of cyclamen, jasmine, and violet, and complemented by grounding notes of golden amber, woody, vanilla, musk, and caramel. The combination of both fragrances makes for a nice tropical scent in the final soap bar. Now I'll pour this atop my somewhat hardened clear base using the spatula to lessen the impact on the clear base that is still hardening. Again, I'll spritz with some alcohol to burst the bubbles, then leave as undisturbed as I can to harden fully. Thank you. 
After about four hours, it's time to remove the soap from the mold. Now I find that I need to apply some elbow grease when removing soap from this kind of tray mold, but once the soap is out, all the effort proved to be worth it. Because of the grooves in the mold, I'm able to cut along the lines to get 8 even sized 4 ounce bars. And this is the final product. The design of a little blue on top and white on the bottom is simple, but I like it and it's also easy to create. This soap cleans well, smells great and has a soothing effect on skin. And with that, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like this one. Until next time, have courage and be kind. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.